Hawaii had a very unique um, situation. The, the time it takes for us to take a sample, send it all the way to Atlanta, Georgia, uh, to get tested and then return to the islands uh, exceeds more than a week in the best of conditions. Uh, and so certainly they acknowledge that it would be better for us to have that testing capability. Uh, as I was in transit to the National Governors Association, they had actually sent the first test kits out. And as you know, um, the test kits were found to be defective. Uh, and so certainly um, there was a second batch sent out. And then once again, um, there were deficiencies in the test kits. And so uh, I do think that, you know, the current status now from the CDC is they want to get it right rather than uh, rush it. And so um, I think the, the ability to test in Hawaii, they've acknowledged, um, should be a national priority just because of our isolation. Uh, and certainly I do expect that um, we will be amongst the first states to be able to test uh, for the virus uh, here in the islands. Or we believe, you know, it's a new virus. Uh, there are lots of things that we don't know about the virus. There are some assumptions we're making because of uh, SARS and MERS and other viruses that we have dealt with. We do believe that um, the virus is most, uh, an individual who has the virus is most contagious uh, when they are exhibit a fever, you know. And so, you know, the conversation is about trying to uh, ask the public to be good patients. Uh, you know, if someone is feeling sick, we encourage them to stay home instead of going to work. Uh, if it's flu-like symptoms and they have had exposure, so they eat either interacted with someone who went to China uh, or, well, I guess that's the, the high risk population at this point in terms of um, potentially having the virus that they should um, isolate and uh, limit their interactions and contacts.